Kept you waiting, huh? I mean, I'm back too, but who cares about me? It's Red Brown Month, the month where we celebrate the epic films of the man, the myth, the screaming, Red Brown! <laughs> An action star unappreciated in this time. A multifaceted actor whose talents, and screaming, span virtually every film genre. From action... <laughs> to science fiction... <laughs> to horror... <laughs> To war movies, <laughs> courtroom dramas, it's a lovely day tomorrow, tomorrow is a lovely day. Hey, the man could sing. It's not like he's a one-note actor. Glorious though that note is. <laughs> he's got emotional range, like sorrow. You got tons of popcorn there, and all you gotta do is go climb a tree to go eat it. <laughs> Anger. Ah! Uh, mellow? Well, I've been coming down the coast slow and easy, you know, kicking back. Pretty mellow set of wheels. Yeah. This is the month we celebrate the career and legend of Reb Brown. It is I, his chronicler, who alone can tell you of these tales. Like this one, Street Hunter. The story of a lone vigilante, a rogue cop on the edge out to rid the streets of crime one bullet at a time. And what's even better, this time, it's personal. It's a dangerous world. He's a dangerous man. And he's the law. He's also fucking huge! Check it out, he's like ten times the size of the World Trade Center. That gun probably shoots bullets the size of the Statue of Liberty. That'd be a great movie! Fuck Cloverfield, imagine how screwed we'd be if a Godzilla-sized Red Brown attacked New York, all breathing nuclear fire and shit. You know, I've got all these great ideas for a Spoonie movie, but that son of a bitch Reb won't answer my damn emails! Rebzilla! Come on! Judging from the guy in the duster and cowboy hat, I can only assume this movie's about a sheriff from the Old West falling through a time vortex to fight crime in New York City. Wait, that's actually been done. The showdown was interrupted, however, by the almighty who sent us all sailing into the 20th century. So we tried to adapt and started a detection agency to put beans on the table. I watched way too much TV. New York has seen a lot of wars, but nothing like the one Logan Blade is about to wage. Logan Blade? That is the greatest action movie hero name of all time. Logan Blade. It's better than Snake Plissken. It's better than John Matrix. It sounds like Wolverine's full name. Bounty hunter Logan Blade has only 24 hours to avert a bloody gang war in the heart of Manhattan. Yeah, how much you want to bet he averts this bloody gang war by killing everyone on both sides? It's a battle against time as Street Hunter explodes in a relentless tidal wave of chase, violence, and suspense. Wow! An exploding, relentless tidal wave of chase and violence. Sounds like a Red Brown movie to me. And now, a special sneak preview of movies coming to a theater near you. God, I miss these. I mean, the previews on DVDs are always for the big blockbuster releases, if there's previews at all. In fact, now, some video players download new previews off the internet, so they're always current. Not on VHS, though. Who knew what you were going to find as the B-movie previews on a B-movie VHS tape? The previews were how you found the next shitty movie you were going to watch. Now, an evil genius is on the verge of global domination, and only Captain America can stop him. Hey, you can't have a preview for a Captain America movie just before a movie with the original Captain America in it. Look at this dork. Where's his motorcycle? Beyond the walls of society exists a nightmare realm known as the House of Usher. The House of Usher? What? Don't tell me this is a preview for Zombie 5 as well. The hiding place of secrets best left unseen. Like porn, weed, and Wayans Brothers movies. If terror can have a face. <laughs> what the hell is going on? If fear can have a name. Madness has found a home. From the pen of Edgar Allan Poe. Well, no wonder the House of Usher keeps falling. Look, it's made of styrofoam. The House of Usher. Even the bad movies were better back then. 
more fun to watch anyway. There was this purity to the badness. Today all the bad movies are self-aware, intentionally trying to be shitty. Well, anyone can shit their pants on purpose. That's not funny. Someone not realizing they'd shit their pants. Now that's comedy. For some insane reason, Reb Brown's character is not the one named Logan Blade. Reb plays the villain here. Logan Blade is played by the late Steve James, who was usually stuck playing the hero's sidekick in a lot of action movies like this. Like Robert Ginty's doomed friend in The Exterminator. I ain't crazy, but I'm mad! Do you hear me? I am mad! And as you can see, the main character was invariably a much, much worse actor. There's also Frank Vincent, who you'll probably recognize as that one guy from literally every Mafia movie ever made. And Thom Christopher! Hooray! You don't remember him from such roles as Hawk from Buck Rogers in the 25th Century and Trucks Artis in Deathstalker 3. And you who could hurl boulders off the mountaintops? And there's a good reason for that. The world is mine! Apparently he won an Emmy. Figure that one out. Wow, this must be New York. Even the garbage men are heavily armed. But it's Logan Blade who's about to take out the trash. Uh, what do you say, partner? Think we can take him? What? That's styrofoam! That is fucking styrofoam! Look how easily he kicks it over! It bounces when it hits the ground! It even sounds like styrofoam when they put the gravestone back! Oh god, it's John Leguizamo. Because when I think of badass Colombian drug lords, I think of Luigi. Well, I don't know. Smoking crack, eating magic mushrooms. I could see Luigi getting too deep into the drugs. So they start digging the cocaine out of the ground. Burying it there was a clever move. But it turns out they're stealing the drugs from another gang. Not sure which gang is which yet, but since they're in a graveyard, I'm guessing that Luigi and his gang are the Bloods, and he's stealing from the crypts. You're dead. Five dead scumbags. Now run it! I take that back. I want you to meet a dear and close personal friend of mine. Yeah, that's my man. <laughs> Firewell! <laughs> Was it good for you too? I'm impressed, man. You turned my little posse into a serious death force, you know? You know what? You're almost worth all the money I pay you, man. Don't touch me. <laughs> There's more to it than the money. It's a taste of triumph. The ecstasy of glory. It's not about the money, Angel. It's about the... <laughs> you just can't buy that. All right, so finally Logan Blade shows up. You know, old Don Mario is going to be very, very pissed. You know, if your name is Logan Blade, you're pretty much destined to be a renegade cop. Don't get many wedding photographers named Logan Blade. Logan fucking Blade. <laughs> fuck Don Mario, man, and fuck you, Blade. Did Luigi here just say fuck Don Mario? So the Super Mario Brothers are fighting for control of the drug trafficking in New York City? That's hardcore. What? You got some big cojones, man. Look, wait, wait, wait. I'm frightened. I'm frightened, man. <laughs> Look, I'm scared shitless. Oh. Do you have to take this guy in alive? I mean, how high could the bounty on this dude possibly be? Who the hell would pay to see John Leguizamo? <laughs> ah, if only we had some sort of projectile weapons! Oh. Seriously, they had like five seconds to just shoot the guy. Beef jerky angel? Go ahead, take them. They're good. Beef jerky? The fuck? That's not how you offer someone beef jerky. You statement! Stab it with Slim Jim! That's how you do it. Anyway, Blade throws him in lockup. You got families? I'm gonna kill them all. I'm gonna kill all your babies, your mother, your father, all of them. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill them in their sleep. I swear to my mother! I would have gone with, I want my lawyer, but that's just me. Son of a thousand fathers, they're all bastards just like you! I don't even know what that means, but I bet you were adopted and your parents broke up. Ah, fuck it. Good job, Logan. They kept Angel pretty well hidden there for a month. I'll have the department process your reward first thing in the morning. This has to be a first. An 80s action movie where the police chief and the renegade cop get along great. You see, that's what I like about you, my friend. You cut through all the red tape and the BS. And I thank you very much. <laughs> Feelings mutual, buddy. 
damn it, Blade! The mayor's been up my ass all day about those six bodies you left behind in the cemetery. You're making this whole department look good. The press is gonna have a field day with this. I ought to promote your ass straight to lieutenant. Oh, this is just great. The mob versus the Diablos. Thanks, Logan. I'll be in touch. You're dangerous, Blade! A loose cannon! Wish I had more men like you! Just because you were once on the force, don't think you can do whatever the hell you want. Just get your reward and keep out of the Diablo Romano war. You know, Wilman, you always had a lot of balls. Oh, a lot of crotch grabbing in this movie. Make sure you don't lose him. <laughs> well, that's a weird reaction to having a large man violently seize hold of your balls. Hey, hey, hey Wilman, he's not kidding. Uh, he's not kidding. He'll twist your nutsack like a pair of Chinese worry balls. I'm going to go wash my hands. So the cops get ready to drive Luigi to the city jail, or rather, straight into another Red Brown killing spree. Hey, listen. That is one bad boy that you're babysitting, okay? He has a lot of friends, and they're mean mamma jammas. Mamma jammas? You never change, do you, Blade? Still paranoid. Oh, this guy is so dead. <laughs> Just cautious, my friend. You sound like my wife, for Christ's <laughs> sakes. <laughs> How's she doing? Oh, she's great. She finally took me back after all these years. I guess life does give you second chances. Hey, be careful. No problem. Hey, the boys at the station are throwing me a retirement party in a couple of days. Uh, let's take the back roads, guys. There'll be less traffic this way. Hey, Who'd have thought jail in New York City would be so far out of the way? Team one. Team two. Oh man, is Reb just gonna sit there? Oh, this sucks. Come on, movie, we don't pay Reb to talk. Kill something! Oh, Blade warned me there'd be mamma jammas. You never take me alive, Koopas! I said move out, Angel. That means you, mister. Angel's escaped. And nine good cops are dead. Well, eight good cops. Reynolds was kind of a jerk. You realize your reward won't be paid now, right? And the hell with the reward. There are nine dead cops and Janelli was a pal. Uh-uh. Now it's personal. Now you listen to me, Blade. You're too close to this one. You're on the case. Here's your badge and gun. The strong shall eat the weak. The weak shall know the wrath of Caesar. You are the strong. They are the weak. The city will be ours. Tonight proves that we were invincible. Us ten guys are invincible. Soon the nations of the earth will kneel before us. Long live the fighters. I have molded you into a fighting unit. A team that thinks with one brain. My brain. Well, now we're in trouble. As Alexander the Great led his army into the east. As Genghis Khan led his hordes across the tundra. I will lead you to glory beyond your wildest dreams. To the wealth of ten lifetimes. Hooray. Hooray. Dismissed. Well, you can really talk, man. <laughs> I wish I could talk like that, I swear. Yes, great leaders like me speak with such fire and passion that it inspires fanatical loyalty in his men. Each one of them would gladly give their life for me. Let me ask you something, Holmes. What the fuck is he talking about? You can talk to me if you can. What are you can? I told you not to touch me. I must trust you to follow my orders. Like Philotus followed Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great had Philotus wrongly convicted of an assassination plot and had him beaten to death with fucking rocks. So if Reb doesn't eventually stone his ass in this movie, I'll be very disappointed. Oh, come on. Did you look that up or did you really know that? I actually knew that. You waste my time again. I waste you. Comprende? Yeah, man. We'll do it together. I'm pleased we could share this moment together. Live long and prosper. Meanwhile, Blade is hitting the streets so he can find a lead on where Reb is. He goes to talk to his informant, Hurley from Lost? Looking for cop killers, huh? Yeah. He even sets up a meeting with the Mafia, whose fake Italian restaurant storefronts need a lot of work. I don't know, the interior just lacks a certain warmth. Lacks a certain everything. Okay, I get you an audience with the dog. Then we're even. Yep. Then get the fuck out of here. Okay, so I don't get this at all. The mayor puts out a $100,000 bounty on Reb. So Blade meets with Don Romano, not to join forces, 
but to get him to back off so he doesn't kill everyone and cost him the reward money. One of them has a price on his head, and I want him. I thought this wasn't about the money! I thought this was personal! Shouldn't he be happy to just let the Mafia and Colombians kill each other just like he did before? I'll tell you what I'm gonna let you do. I'm gonna let you get the fuck out of my face and stay out of my business. Because I'm gonna personally rip their hearts out. Time's up. Now go home and get your fucking shine box. Motherfucking mother! Unfortunately for the Mafia, they're up against the God of War himself, Reb Brown. And the, the guy who played the clown from Spawn. Well, it sounds like you got a plan, huh? The Greeks fought the Trojans in a ten-year war. And won on a simple and genius device. The Trojan horse. Uh, no they didn't, because the Trojan horse is a myth, idiot! Let me explain. They rolled the Trojan horse into the walls of Troy, sprang from its belly, and slaughtered all the Trojans. That's what we're going to do tonight to the Romanos. What are you going to do? Bake a giant hollow lasagna with a bunch of armed Colombians hiding inside? Turns out the Trojan horse is just a guy pretending to have information, which Blade doesn't believe for a second. I suppose it's a modern twist on the myth. Instead of a bow, we take out Achilles with a sniper rifle. So yeah, nice plan, Odysseus. Pretty sure the Trojan horse had more than two guys in it, too. The backup plan? Hit him with a machete! It's a pretty good fight, actually, even if this guy isn't exactly Hector of Troy. This guy's new, so he pretty much gets spanked. I'm telling you not a man. I'm gonna be a Diablo. A man! Not a sellout white boy like you. Oh snap, this is gonna be good! Don't you talk to me like that, motherfucker. My name is Ralph motherfucking Rivera. You hear me? Ralph motherfucking Rivera! Captain motherfucking Rivera! Cabrón pendejo hijo de puta! Motherfucker! Get this motherfucker out of here! Yeah! That was awesome! That's gonna be the most badass thing in this entire movie! Ralph motherfucking Rivera! Captain motherfucking Rivera! Describe what Rev Brown looks like! This guy's a real piece of work. He was the best and the brightest. Honors at school, distinguished service in Nam, a lot of top secret assignments, and then he starts to get a little warped. Tomorrow is a lovely day. We ain't got all day, you know. <laughs> so the Mafia guys bring their own stereotypical greaseball soundtrack on cassette tape with them? Wait, was that the Trojan horse? A horse full of explosives is cool! Okay, well forget the horse, it's not working. Now Reb just sends Hitman to whack Blade's girlfriend at her apartment because this'll either cause him to surrender in terror or drive him into an exploding tidal wave of murderous fury. Jeez, he sent more guys to go after the girlfriend than he sent to kill Blade. Might have been the right move, though. <laughs> bitch! The nigga! Ah! Oh! Oh my god! I'm beginning to doubt these Invincible Warriors are really gonna conquer New York. Aha! Ah! 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 I sensed there was crime happening. Holy crap, sweetheart, did you just fucking cut that guy's throat? Remind me not to piss you off. Well, let's take these dirtbags to jail. Cop whose name I still don't know. You know, Blade, you'd still be on the force today if it wasn't for me. You're the son of a bitch who framed me. I was making top dollar working for Don Romano. What? How could you? Who are you? Seriously, all I know about you is that you really like donuts. Shut up, bitch! Logan Blade, bad man. Come on, Logan. That's Logan Blade's super cool bounty hunter car? The 1979 Fort Diddler panel van? My, 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 sent the spider to the blade. Come on in and catch this shade, huh? I guess I can see why. It's got no windows, so you have privacy. Come on, Logan Blade, street hunter, hunt this! And it has power safety locks, so the children, uh, the suspects can't escape. Come on, I got your donut right here. Not exactly suited for high-speed chases, though, unless he's got a hyperdrive installed. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? Goddamn blade. I should have killed you a long time ago. Ooh, instant kill with those. I learned that from Call of Duty. You talk too much. You're telling me a guy named Logan Blade doesn't have a one-liner prepared for when he kills someone with a knife? Reb, help this guy out. Don't move. Okay, bad example. I would have gone with, hey man, knife shot. 
Congratulations, you're a worthy adversary. I wanted to meet you, but now, now the hunt's over. Shoot the mutt. Sorry, Jefe. <laughs> In the field, you can't afford to miss. Let her go. Your concern for this woman surprises me, Blake. She's been your downfall. He talks like some kind of alien in this movie. This emotion you call love is a weakness. Order doesn't work. That's why I created my own here. Look what happened in Nam. Oh, man, don't start that. I was there. You know they didn't let us win. Sort of like, get to it and go get fucked like in Nam. No, man. They fucked it up. They didn't let us win. Sorry. What the fuck does anything have to do with Vietnam? I'm, I'm what sorry. the fuck are you talking about? Now there's no more wars. Nothing to fight for anymore. During the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things are different now. There's nothing to fight for but the fight itself. The only work and you find your soul. With all the lies and the hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. Bene, 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 guys. Thanks. Okay, there's been three separate Italian restaurants in this movie, and they're all the same empty warehouse. Well, we go get some galamar. Who's buying? You're buying. And the mafia's crushed. Seriously, that was the battle for New York right there. Fuck the Trojan horse, just run up and waste them. Bet the Greeks didn't try that. These fucking foreigners. Frank Vincent is President Trump in Street Hunter. They come to our country, they come to our country and muscle in on us. Instead of staying in the fucking jungle and taking care of the supply line. Surgeon General says smoking's bad for your health. Who's this fucking crazy bastard? Wow, the Italians pretty much got dunked on this entire movie. The day is ours. Alexander of Macedonia took 50,000 infantry and horsemen against King Darius is 250,000 Persians, Parthians, Bedouins, and Cappadocians. Today we have won the Battle of New York. The day is ours! Truly this was a victory worthy of song. Just as Caesar led 500,000 to conquer the Gallic tribes under Vercingetorix, so have I led you, brave five guys, to conquer Don Romano's pizza shack. The spoils of victory are yours! Glory, honor, and unlimited breadsticks are yours! I just realized something. Much like in Super Mario Brothers, Luigi here just wiped out a bunch of Goombas. Now's the time. I want him alive! Set your rifles for stun! I think we should split up. What do you think, Colonel? Oh, Jesus! He was only trying to help. He'd shot him in the dick. <laughs> You see that guy? He literally dropped down from the ceiling like he spawned in a video game. Tonight I called you a worthy adversary. Prove me right. Choose your weapon. Uh, okay. I choose Dobermans. Mano a mano. That's my favorite form of combat. You're crazy, man. You think I'm crazy, Blade? Yeah. I thought Napoleon was crazy, too. <laughs> Hang on, since when did Reb decide this character has emotions? He's gone from being a Vulcan... I'm pleased we could share this moment together. ...to being Nicolas Cage or something. <laughs> <laughs> Benedict Arnold was malign, man. He won battles, man. Ticonderoga, Valcor Island, Saratoga... Saratoga, Blade! Valley Forge was for pussies! Saratoga, Blade! <laughs> 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 uh, where's he going? Hello, Blade, you won the fight. That usually means you can stick around. I was just having fun. If you won't finish it, you leave me no choice. Come out, Blade, or these pants are coming off. Ah! I'll never give it up. Not to anyone. Ah! Now where in the hell did he get a block of C4? And why is he licking the wire? We should have been friends, Blade. I'm going to miss you. Okay, so that's not what I thought would happen. Turns out C4 is not very good. Even with a big lump of it, it just goes poof. <laughs> oh, right, this guy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Get it, man. I'm reasonably certain you don't have any weapons on you, so there's no need to restrain you in any way. Hmm, wonder if I should go back and check to make sure that tiny explosion that barely knocked over some plywood actually killed Red Brown. Nah. Shut up. 
Fisco. Okay, before I go, I just want to clear one thing up, okay? Reb Brown is not the villain in this movie. If anyone's the bad guy here, it's the president. Because if Reb Brown wants to win Vietnam, by God, you let him stay and win Vietnam! I mean, he's gotta kill something! Am I wrong? Very good.